in the last part of chapter 1 rational number here we are going to discuss about the methods of finding rational numbers or a large number of rational numbers between two given rational numbers so let's start with the first method that is finding a rational number that is limited number of rational numbers in between two given rational numbers in the first question we have to find a rational number in between 7 by 10 and 10 by 17 so in the first method what we do is we add the given rational numbers and then divide it by 2 so what we have done over here is we we have written 1 by 2 into 7 by 10 plus 7 10 by 17 taking the lcm of the numbers in the bracket 10 and 17 that is 170 and converting the each of the rational numbers into equivalent term that is 7 by 10 has to be multiplied with 17 so we have got 119 and 10 by 17 has to be multiplied with 10 so the number we have got is 100 on adding this two we will get 219 upon 170 so in the next step we have written 1 by 2 into 219 by 170 So multiplying one into two one nine will get two one nine. Two into one seventy is three forty. Since there is no common divisor, this is our answer. Second question: Find three rational numbers between four and four two by three. So four two by three is a mixed fraction which has to be converted into an improper fraction. So for first thing, what we'll do is we'll find one rational number in between four and 14 by 3 so we'll apply the same procedure which we have done in the first case that is half into 4 by 1 plus 14 by 3 that is equal to 1 by 2 into now the lcm of 1 and 3 is 3 so to convert 4 by 1 into equivalent term we have to multiply it with 3 so we have got 12 and 14 by 3 is already in equivalent term so we'll write 14 so in adding 12 and 14 we'll get 26 upon 3 in the next step we have written half into 26 upon 3 so 1 multiplied with 26 is 26 and 2 multiplied with 3 is 6 now there is a common divisor of 26 and 6 which is 2 so dividing the both numerator and denominator by 2 we'll get 13 upon 3 that is the first number to find the second number we have to find the second number between 4 and 13 upon 3 again we'll apply the same procedure that is half into 4 by 1 plus 13 by 3 lcm of 1 and 3 is 3 4 by 1 has to be converted into equivalent term so we'll multiply both numerator and denominator by 3 so we'll get 12 13 by 3 it's already in equivalent term so we'll will add 13 to 12 so 12 plus 13 will get 25 upon 3 so in the next step we have written 1 by 2 into 25 by 3 so 1 multiplied with 25 is 25 2 multiplied with 3 is 6 this is our second rational number the third rational number will be in between 13 by 3 and 14 upon 3 again 1 by 2 into 13 by 3 plus 14 by 3 here the both the numerate sorry both the denominators are same so we'll write 3 as the denominator or lcm and we'll add 13 and 14 which is 27 upon 3 so in the next step we have written 1 by 2 Cross twenty-seven upon three. This will give us twenty-seven upon six as the answer. Hence, the three rational numbers are twenty-five upon six, thirteen upon three, and twenty-seven upon six. Moving on to the next method, that is finding a large number of rational numbers between two given rational number. Now, the previous cases we have found. limited rational numbers in between two given rational numbers in this case if you are asked to find 
15 rational numbers so this method will be easier so in this case what we are going to do is we have to find the LCM of the given rational numbers in this question minus 3 upon 4 and 5 by 6 are the two given rational numbers so the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12 so converting minus 3 upon 4 into equivalent term we will get minus 9 by 12 and 5 by 6 we will get 10 by 12 now we can clearly see that from minus 9 to positive 10 there are many numbers so you can write any 10 rational numbers as your answer that is minus 8 by 12 minus 7 by 12 minus 6 by 12 minus 1 by 12 0 1 upon 1 uh, 1 upon 12 2 upon 12 till 9 upon 12 second case find 12 rational numbers between minus 1 and 2 here there is no denominator given so how will you find the LCM of the number so what we'll do is we'll multiply uh, this 10 to both numerator and denominator okay we'll multiply 10 to both numerator and denominator so minus 1 can be written as minus 10 by 10 and 2 can be written as 20 by 10 now see from minus 10 upon 10 to 20 upon 10 that is from minus 10 to 20 there are lots of fractions which you will get so you can write any 12 rational numbers as your answer I hope this exercise is clear to you these are some of the practice questions please do practice at home so that the whole chapter is clear to you this is the end of this chapter. Thank you.